So another exercise that we covered with Mr. Trout is a door behavior. So it's when we go to a specific spot when we open up the door. So Trout, Matt. Good job. So as soon as his paws hit the mat, he's done what we're looking for. Trout, Gavin. Good boy, Dave. And I would let my guests in here. Free. Good boy. Um, and tell him free. Let him know that he has completed his mission. Give him a click. Let him know he is done. Uh, so again, let's go over uh, another repetition. I'm going to toss a little treat off to Matt here. Someone comes to the door. Trap. Matt. Actually, one a little, uh, a little bit further away. Good job, give him a click when he hits the mat. Good job, bud. Trout, down. Four, stay. That is perfect. Uh, we really want Mr. Trapp to have a habitual routine that he does as soon as folks come to the door. Um, so you can simply uh, give him a click as soon as he hits the mat, let him know that's exactly where he needs to be positioned, and tell him to stay, open up your door. Um, if he's adjusting to the door, which does happen, um, then just fiddle with the different mechanisms on your specific door. So uh, we fiddled with the deadbolt individually, fiddled around with the door a little bit, um, the padlock up here, and then you started um, opening up just a smidge, and we'll open it up a little bit more, and then we'll open it up fully, and we'll just swing this bad boy open. Um, uh, really, you just get them used to all of the uh, different sounds, and um, everything's going to have to get used to to just desensitize them to every little piece. So, um, another tool for your toolbox, and uh, so I'd like to have him stop between, before he goes through all doorways, but um, this is a good one for uh, guests in general or So you got a FedEx guy or someone coming to the door. It's um, a Habitual routine so he knows exactly what's expected of him when someone arrives. So very good job, sir. That's perfect